All right, so I'm gonna start with the left side of the top first, and I'm gonna bring my new yarn. So put the right side facing you and the wrong side down, okay? And add the new yarn into the corner space. I'm gonna tie a knot and then insert the hook into the same space and pull up a loop and chain one so this is my first single crochet okay and then place the marker into the first single crochet and we're gonna make one more single crochet into the same space and then make single crochet into next three stitches and then make one single crochet into this gap the chain space and then single crochet into next three stitches and then one single crochet into the chain space okay so you just keep repeating this till you come to this corner space and i will meet you guys there okay so when you come to the corner space and you're gonna make two single crochet into that corner space one and two and then next corner space right here make two single crochet in there and then single crochet into next three stitches and one single crochet into the chain space okay we're just gonna repeat the same pattern so make three single crochet in on top of the double crochet stitches and one single crochet into the chain space and then when you come to the corner make two single crochet into each corner see two single crochet in that corner and two single crochet into that corner okay so I will meet you guys when you come to this corner which is the last corner all right when you come to the last corner so after you make two single crochet into the last corner from here to here where we start you should have 81 single crochet stitches and next we're gonna make 82 chains okay so keep making the chains and I will miss you guys when you have 82 chains alright so I have 82 chains I hope you guys have the same and then next you're gonna bring the other side the other square and then right side facing you okay and we're gonna make single crochet around here make exact same that we did with the first square so start with this corner make two single crochet in there one and two and then single crochet into the next three stitches and one single crochet into the chain space okay so just keep repeating this and I will meet you guys when you come to the end when you come to the end you will have 81 single crochet stitches and then next we're gonna chain one to lock the yarn okay and then cut the yarn 
Put the yarn out. You can weave the end now or weave the end later. It's up to you. It doesn't matter. And then we're gonna change color. I'm gonna bring my new color. I'm gonna use my um, cream color for this part. I always use double thread. And you're gonna put wrong side of square together like that. Okay, we're gonna work on the right side. So start into the marker stitch. And remove marker. Insert the hook into the marker stitch. And bring new color. And then tie a knot. And then insert the hook into the same stitch. Pull up a loop and chain three. First three chains always count as double crochet. And then one more double crochet into the same stitch. And then chain two. Skip two stitches. One, two and two double crochet into the next stitch. Oops. And chain two. Skip two stitches. One, two and two double crochet into next stitch. And we're gonna do the same, chain two, skip two stitches, and two double crochet into next stitch. We're just gonna repeating the same pattern. Okay, so just keep repeating this till you come right here, and then I will meet you guys there. Okay, so when you come right here into the corner, after you chain two, you're gonna do the same. Skip two stitches and two double crochet into the next stitch, which is the first chain stitch that we did after corner space. Okay, so we're gonna do the same. We're gonna chain two and then skip two stitches. So for the chain stitch, it's kinda difficult to see the stitch, so you have to be careful. Okay, after you skip two, you're gonna make two double crochet into next stitch. We're repeating the same pattern, but I just wanna show you guys into the chain stitch. Chain two, skip two stitches, and two double crochet into next stitch. So you just keep repeat the same pattern do exact same thing. When you come to this side of the square, do exact same thing, okay? But make sure you put the uh, wrong side together like that and right side facing you. All right, so I will meet you guys when you come to the end of the row. Okay, so when you come to the end, so I forget to tell you, uh, I will call this row one, okay, of this part. So when you come to the end of row one, you're going to chain three to start row two. And for three chain, always count as double crochet. And make two more chain. All right. And then turn it over so you can turn first and make the chain or you can chain first and turn it doesn't matter and then make two double crochet into the chain space here and then chain two and two double crochet into the next chain space and then chain two Two double crochet into next chain space. 
Okay, so we're gonna repeat the same pattern. So from now on, gonna get easier. So when you come around here, do the same, do exact same thing. Keep doing that till you come to the end and I will meet you guys there. All right, so I'm in the end of row two. I'm gonna chain two here and make one double crochet into the third chain that we did. See? The third chain that we did here. Alright, and now we have two row. And then for row three, turn it over. And then chain three. For three chains, always count as double crochet and make one more double crochet into this space chain space okay and then chain two and two double crochet into the next chain space and chain two two double crochet into next chain space See, we just keep repeating the same pattern. Alright, so keep repeating that till you come to the end and I will meet you guys there. Alright, so I'm in the end of row 3. After I chain 2, I'm gonna make one double crochet into this chain space and then one double crochet into the third chain that we did. So you can make into the chain space, but um, I just want to lock the yarn so it's not move, lock the stitch, okay? See, the row one and row three, we do the same. And then the row two and row four, do the same. And then for row four, I just gonna show you guys one more row. You're gonna do the same as row two. So chain three and for three chain count as double crochet and make two more chain. And then two double crochet into the chain space. Chain two and two double crochet into next chain space. See, repeating this repeating the same pattern and I will meet you guys again till you come to the end of the row so I'm the end of row 4 and like I said row 4 we repeat row 2 so after you make 2 double crochet you're gonna chain 2 and then make 1 double crochet into the third chain that we did you can turn it over if you can't see the third chain. Okay, make um, one double crochet in there. Okay, so like I said, this pattern repeat by two rows. So row one and row two is one set. And then row three and row four, we repeat row one and row two right and uh, yeah you just keep repeating this till you have 21 rows okay and I will meet you guys there all right so now I have total of 21 rows from here to here okay and and next I gonna change color so I gonna make one more row but um, just single crochet if you want just one color, just continue working with the same color that you have. So I'm just gonna chain one to lock the yarn and then cut it. And I'm gonna weave the end later. So this is the right side up, okay? Right side facing you. And then I'm gonna bring my new color 
gonna insert the hook into the third chain here insert the hook and pull the new yarn out and then tie a knot and insert the hook into the same stitch pull up the loop and chain one so this is my first single crochet and I'm gonna weave the end at the same time that I make uh, single crochet and then make single crochet into next stitch and then for the chain space we're gonna make two single crochet in there and then single crochet into next two stitches and then two single crochet into the chain space and single crochet into next two stitches and two single crochet into the chain space we just repeat the same pattern here okay and um, you see two double crochet stitches here make single crochet into each stitch okay and then when you come to the um, chain space two single crochet in there just repeating the same pattern um, till you come to the end and i will meet you guys there all right so when you come to the end it'll look like this and then next we're gonna uh, measuring the arm hole okay measuring yourself that how much how how big you want your arm hole is to be so for this top is about 22 centimeter I just place the marker there okay so we're gonna sew this part okay and I will show you guys how to do that okay so first I gonna turn my top over to be the front side and I don't cut the yarn so because I gonna use a flat slip stitch join okay if you prefer joining by using your needle and it's up to you okay but if you want to know how I join my top just keep on watching so first I gonna insert my hook into the back loop of the first stitch the front piece okay it's difficult to see so I'm sorry and then go to the back piece insert the hook into the back loop of the first stitch and we not go under like that okay we not go like that we go on top here I hope it makes sense see set the hook into the back loop like so and now we have three loops we're gonna pull it all out all right and then do the same with next stitch insert the hook into the back loop of next stitch in the front piece and go to the back piece insert the hook into the back loop don't go under okay go on top like that see here I hope you guys can see so set the hook there when you have three loops you're gonna pull it all out do the same with next stitch we're just gonna work into the back loop only insert the front piece and go to the back piece do the same the working yarn all the way on the back okay like so 
I hope it makes sense. So, pull it all out. Oops. And then next stitch. Insert the hook. Go to the back piece. Insert the hook into the back loop again. See? We're gonna keep doing this, okay? Just do the same thing. Keep doing this till you come to marker. And then I will meet you guys there. Alright, so now when you come to marker, you're gonna chain one to lock the yarn and then cut that yarn, okay? Leave a little bit of tail so we can weave the end. And I'm just gonna remove marker. You just need to weave the end inside, okay? See, this is flat slip stitch join look like. Okay, so so we done one side, and you have to do exact same, everything the same with the other side here. All right, so when you start making this side make sure you turn the right side up the right side of the top so now we right side okay and then after that after you sewing everything done with that side we're gonna uh, finishing the bottom all right i'll meet you guys there okay so we're gonna finishing the bottom okay Turn the right side facing you. Alright. And we start right here. You see this stitch right here. Into this red color here. Insert the hook into that stitch. Bring your new yarn. Okay. And then pull out the yarn and tie a knot and insert the hook into the same stitch pull up the loop and chain one so this is my first single crochet and then two sink i mean one single crochet into next stitch sorry all right for this part we're gonna make two single crochet all right and then three single crochet into next gap here And then three single crochet into next gap. And then three single crochet into next gap. And you're just gonna make three single crochet into each gap. Okay? See? Next gap here, here, all right, till you come to the middle part here, and I will meet you guys there. When you come to middle part, we're gonna make one single crochet into that stitch, and then one single crochet into this corner stitch, and then one single crochet into each of next three stitches here. And one single crochet into next gap and then one single crochet into each of next three stitches and just and then one single crochet into next stitch and then one single crochet into each of next three stitches and one single crochet into the gap so when you come to the corner make one single crochet in there and then one single crochet into next stitch here and then three single crochet into next gap and three single crochet into the gap after that 
so in each gap of this you're gonna make three single crochet in there and then I will meet you guys when you come to this part all right okay so when you come to this part you're gonna make one single crochet into next stitch here and then one single crochet into next stitch right here all right and then three single crochets into next gap we're gonna repeating the same pattern that we did with the other side see three single crochet into next stitch next gap I mean alright so just keep repeating this do the same as the other side okay so and I will miss you guys when you come to the end here so when you come to the end you're gonna make slip stitch into the first single crochet that we did insert the hook pull up the loop and pull it through and then just cut the yarn leave a little bit of tail okay so you're just gonna weave the end so make sure that all the end is secure and then you just trim all the tails okay all right so now we're done making a beautiful boho top if you like this video please give me a thumb up and subscribe on my channel thank you so much for watching and see you next video bye bye